So the first thing you want to do if you're going to be using Photoshop, the full version, along with Anime Studio Pro 6, and you want to export your images from Photoshop into Anime Studio, um, first thing you want to do is you're going to open up uh, your hard drive, and you want to point this directory to your applications, and then you want to go to Anime Studio Pro 6, and you want to go to Extra Files, and right here you're going to see a file called export layers to anime studio.jsx. Now, open up another copy of your hard drive, all right? And point this one to applications and then um, Photoshop uh, Adobe Photoshop CS and then you want to go to presets and then you want to go to scripts. Okay, so up here in your one window, you have applications, anime studio pro 6, extra files and you're looking for this file called export layers to anime studio.jsx. In the second window, we have applications, Photoshop CS, presets, scripts, and then your directory. So simply cut, uh, take this file, drag it down into your Photoshop directory, which I've already done, so I'm not going to do it again. And that will set up your export function from Photoshop and anime studio pro 6. Okay, so very simple there. Uh, you can go ahead and close out of these once you've copied that file over. Now let's jump into um, Photoshop CS real quick. Alright, now I already have my basic um, animation image that I'm working with. And, uh, oh, there. And all my various layers, as you can see, um, I have a layer for like his little music, his iPod or whatever he's listening to there. I have a layer for his face, um, I have uh, a layer for his hair up here. And um, so basically I've created this image using various different layers. I did the overall outline as one image and then I came in and broke it down into various layers. So however you want to achieve this uh, layer effect is up to you completely. Um, when you choose the export function that we just installed, it's going to export anything that is highlighted, so the little black dots. Um, so if you, I'm just going to, for this example, I'm only going to export what I have here. Normally, if I'm going into Anime Studio, I would select all of these because I would want all of those images with the facial expressions and everything to be exported. But for this example, I'm just going to go with what I have here. Alright, so let's say you have all your layers and your image is pretty much done. You want to go to File. You want to go to, um, and this is where uh, Photoshop Elements kind of lacks because um, you don't have a script function. But if you go down here to Script, you're going to choose Export Layers to Anime Studio. Now you'll want to create a new folder on your desktop uh, just before you do this. Um, I called mine Anime Baby, and it's going to create a new project called Untitled. And you're going to click Save. And once that's done, you're going to see it copying. It's going to run through and it's going to copy every single layer and create a new image out of that layer. So it's going to take a few minutes for it to process and you'll see a bunch of images jumping around and stuff. Okay, but anyway, once that's done, um, you can go ahead pretty much and exit out of uh, Photoshop. So I'm going to exit out and I'm, I don't want to save that. So here's the folder that I created and that I exported everything to. Okay, so desktop, anime baby, and here's our untitled, here's our original PSD file, and under images now, you're going to see um, that it's created an individual image for each body piece. Okay, so there we have all the various images, and it's done its job. It's exported all those images individually, so the export function does work, and here's where it kind of takes a turn. Um, now, let's go ahead and jump into Anime Studio Pro 6. So basically you're going to create a new file, and when you go to create a new file, um, for me, I'm using high definition, I'm doing uh, 1280 by 720. Okay, so um, you want to make sure you can go to your project settings after you open a new file, and uh, see here it defaults to 872 by 486, so I'm going to choose um, uh, HDV, HDTV 720p, that'll take my resolution up to 1280 by 720 and I choose OK. Okay, now, now let's jump in. You want to import your layers from your Photoshop f uh, folder that we just created. Okay, now here's the issue that I'm having is that when I go to File and I choose Import and I choose Image, I've tried some of these other selections and it's not been, been very successful. So I go to Import, choose Image, and then I'm going to point to the directory on my desktop that my images are in. 
And what I've tried to do is uh, if you select the first file, hold down the shift key and select all of them and choose open, unfortunately it's only going to take to bring in that first file. So what I've had to do is come in and choose file, import, image, and then you want to select um, whatever layer it is that you're working with. For this instance it would be the head. So now it brings the head in and you can drag your layers on top of each other like that. So whatever you want to be in the foreground or the background, you just drag it into the correct order. Now once these layers are put in place, um, you can select the individual layer like the head. And uh, if your tool over here under layers, you select the first tool, you can drag the head around basically anywhere you want. You come back in and drag the eyes and on top of that. Okay, so I'm going to jump over to a file here that I have all of them imported already. So I've gone through the import process and I've imported each of my individual layers and I've sized everything and put everything basically where I want it. So this is the beginning of my animation.